My computer is too slow. I cannot edit my video. Can you do something? Welcome back to JDM World. Here at the channel, we do quite a bit of content creation and thus a lot of video editing and our primary tool is the personal computer. Um, you know, as we make the move from a very small channel to hopefully a bigger channel, uh, we've identified that performance of our equipment just isn't where it needs to be when you're doing a lot of video editing because it's a fairly uh, resource intensive activity, right? So, you know, a lot of people build uh, machines that are designed to run games fast and you have the, the super big video cards and that kind of thing. But for us, we're really looking for uh, cost effective content creation boxes that don't take forever to do rendering. So uh, in this video, we're going to look at taking an existing PC that's pretty good and really taking some parts that are going to take this to next level for content creation and video editing. So for all you YouTube video folks out there that have some equipment but it's not where you want it to be, this is a good, a good example of how you can take a few pieces uh, from, uh, from pretty much any big box store or computer parts store and upgrade your machine and really get a, a, a beast of a, of a box. In this upgrade, we're going to upgrade four components and then reuse the rest of the pieces that we have. So uh, today, this is a, a Core i5 Intel processor uh, that's mounted inside of a pretty nice uh, fractal design uh, case with the power supply and all the other goodies, right? And it has DDR4 RAM that we'll be able to, to reuse. Uh, the biggest bottleneck that we're seeing is around CPU. So to address that, we are looking at an awesome uh, AMD Ryzen 2700X. This is top of the line for their uh, general desktop line. We looked at Threadripper, but to uh, purchase those CPUs, it's quite a bit of cash. But this is uh, eight core, 16 thread, and my expectation is that the machine will be at least twice as fast as it is today with the uh, older core i5 that's inside of the machine. We're gonna retain the 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. We've got two slots open, so we can take that up to uh, uh, 32 gigs if we want to. Um, but uh, my expectation is 16 will be fine. To mount the CPU, we're going with what I, what I consider kind of a basic uh, system board. It's a Force X470 chipset. Um, but it doesn't have all of the gamer bling. So this is an Asus Prime X470 Pro. To uh, give a little bit of extra pep on the storage side, uh, we're gonna use the uh, Intel SS, the, actually it's an NVMe 660, and this guy is a great buy. So it's a terabyte, it's super fast, um, and it's just over 100 bucks. So you can't go wrong with this. I've used this in other machines, and while it is not the most screaming fast NVMe out there, it does the job really well, especially at its price point. And finally, uh, for a video card, we're gonna upgrade from you know, the quite ancient gear that's in the box today to a new uh, 2060 RTX uh, from NVIDIA. We're a huge EVGA uh, home, so pretty much every video card after this upgrade that we have will be EVGA, and this today is the sweet spot for performance. We, we don't need a 2080 Ti or any crazy SLI for this rig. This, uh, this should do everything that we need it to. So let's get started with this build.
Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video will help you power up your video editing like it's helped us power up ours. If you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe.